final playoff push is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. And they're on the 17-yard line. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Throwing Jones. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Tyler Higby. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. 19, 19. Now Jones. Smith catches left side. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And all the way in for the touchdown. A great play there. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Desperados march right down the field in three plays to claim the early advantage. Now for the point after. It's up and good, and it'll give his guys a 7-0 lead. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Now this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves weapons, weapons everywhere, and they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people, but you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. They'll look to throw now on first down. And he finds a man on the crossing round, and they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. They'll look to throw. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And this will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They're riding a two-game winning streak into this Thursday nighter. How easy is it when you're on a roll 
to stay on a roll given the quick turnaround. Well, you would think it'd be pretty easy because everyone's locked in in practice and meetings because everyone feels good about themselves. And for coaches, this is where they have to tell themselves, don't add too much, don't worry about game plans as much as players. So, and this is caught inside the five. Touchdown. A big play there. 62 yards. And the Desperados are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, Charles, I, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double digits. they got to figure out something and pretty quickly here. No doubt about it. And when we look at that sideline, I'm sure you're observing the same thing I am. I don't like the body language at all. They look like they're in a state of stunned disbelief. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up and make big plays right now. They need something positive to happen, and they need for it to happen now. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. We know it's not an easy job to go and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't get in. That looks like it's going to be two empty possessions now to start this football game. I think they're going to have to sit down and talk about what worked for them last week in their win. Sometimes you over-game plan, overthink things, get back to what works. This is brought in at the 21. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Defense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for first. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Pack 
the 60. Have the 60. Back to throw. Jones. Toward the sideline. Intercepted. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. First and ten, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. Alert! Alert! On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. Back to throw here. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. Well, that one hurts. I mean, it was third down, of course, but now the penalty, and we're back to first down. Yeah, it hurts momentum in a big way, and they built that up here in the early going. Now, that leaves the opposition with a first down. That's a mistake you don't want to make at this point in the game. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. Well, this defense, Charles, really played well in that win a week ago. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. And they came away with three interceptions in that game. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. And CD, you look at this defense, you know, what kind of pressure are they under trying to stop a team that has won five games in a row? Well, to me, it makes their job harder because you know you're going up against an offense that's playing at an elite level, and sometimes you can get too caught up in trying to play the perfect game. You're trying to be too precise, too far, instead of just letting it work. I think that's more the priority than trying to be absolutely perfect. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. Make sure you get your best people in the area to try and take that away. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points. But that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular. If they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Second quarter down, it's our home team with possession as they've got it facing a second and long situation. Come back, team. 
Another try after the first down sack. Jones, he's got Smith here. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. Here we go. Jack. Now a third and six. Operating from the gun, Jones. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Let's go now. Warrior 70. Looking to throw. Jones. Under pressure, and down he goes. They're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Back to throw. Jones. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 22 yards on the catch and run. A first down. Looking to throw. Jones. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown. A great effort there. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Desperados are able to widen their advantage. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie. Because usually your rookie season is in a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. As mentioned, this one of the hottest teams in the NFL, riding that winning streak into this one. But now playing here on Thursday night, do you think that this helps or hurts their momentum? But ordinarily, I'd say it hurts the momentum because now you get that short week. But when a team's playing as well as they are, it actually allows them to down focus and only worry about themselves and less about their opponent. So when you're playing well, you just worry about the things you're doing well and let the opponent deal with that. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Well, the first two drives only yielded three points. They might be thinking it's time to make something happen. Push the ball downfield and try and gain some points that way. Unfortunately, incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. But they went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Ready up. So from the 36 now, first and 10. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. And incomplete on the deep ball. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. 
but that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. Come on, come on. Now it's second and ten. They'll set up to throw. Can't get away, and he's taken down. The offense on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be a tough third and 18. He'll look to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. It'll be a pickup of 13, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Ready. On second down, here's Smith. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Okay, ready? Check it, check it. They keep it with Smith on first down. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. 60 bison, 60 bison. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. He finds his man complete. It's Hayes. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Smith running right, and the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Here's Jones, off play action. And that one into the hands of Ayuk downfield. A big play there just before halftime, 43 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive Hot side 70, of the ball. One that they want to fix immediately. Jones now on first down. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. These two teams met up earlier in the year, back in week four. And it was the visitors getting the win there. So they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. What well, would look like a march to the end zone is hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. And this one is right through. And the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's 24-3. So everything else has gone right in this first half. Kind of follows that it would for their kicker, too, as he adds three more onto the lead. Yeah, and the way that this one's gone, 
definitely not looking like he's going to have to worry too much about pressure kicks late in the game. He can go out there free and easy, just work on his form, and he knocked that one through. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. down run he gets maybe three so we've hit intermission it's halftime this is the nfl and it's a presentation of ea sports and we welcome you back now alongside charles davis i'm brandon gun getting set for quarter number three here So after a very one-sided first half, what will the second half bring as we are back underway on EA Sports? And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The little football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any of those coordinators? They just don't have it, right? You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit, as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. 43 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. On play action, they'll throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Well, we saw that he had a lot of success last week throwing the football, but that hasn't translated to this week. But with his team behind, I don't expect him to back off. I expect him to keep firing. Now look at this, 4th and 12, and they're going to line up to go for it. They'll try and throw for it here. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. 
Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Smith up the middle. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. Third down and one. Back to throw. Jones. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up fourth. And this one is right down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further. Only three points there, but I got to think, at this point in the third quarter, that's all you're really looking for. And right now, the lead is three touchdowns and three two-point conversions. So you and I both know a huge order for the best of teams. And from what we've seen so far, hard to believe that that's a likely scenario. Three two-point conversions, that's difficult. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, this is intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. 19 tight, 19 tight. 19 light. Throwing to start the drive. Jones, throw left side complete. That's Smith. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. 16 average, 6, 18 rattler, 18 rattler, go. Throwing again on second down. Jones. That is caught by Lamb. Down the sideline he goes. Touchdown. C.D. Lamb with career touchdown number 70. And the Desperados have opened the lead up to 30. The partner, he has carried them in this ball game, throwing the football. All four touchdowns through the air. And that's really helped them get this nice lead. And I know it's a team game, but right now, he is truly the focal point. Every touchdown his team has so far has been the result of his arm. How about him throwing it downfield, creating big plays? I don't know how you slow him down unless you can make him uncomfortable in the pocket. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Ready, ready. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. But it's a game that they would rather probably forget about, at least to this point, Charles. And one reason is turnovers. A turnover on the last drive, they had the issue in the first half as well. And that's really, unfortunately for them, helped to put this game out of reach. And you know they won't want to admit it to themselves. But we know that winning the game is pretty much out of the picture now. So their bottom line is how do they play a clean game the rest of this one, right? Take care of the football. No more turnovers. And see how that works. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground. 
honed in on it and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's a second and eight. Dragon 60. Trap 60. Trap 60. 79 Broncos. 60 Bobcats. 60 Bobcats. Now back to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. 19, high Come 19, come 19. They'll look to throw here. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he's taken down inside the 30. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Oh, and that is incomplete. Well, partner, they certainly played up to their top 10 defensive ranking this week. They've stifled this opposing offense throughout this game. This contest is now lopsided because of their efforts, and there's still a quarter to go. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They'll look to throw again. Looking left side, and it's complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Again, he'll drop the throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone, loose. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. He finds his man complete. It's Hayes. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Handoff, running left, Smith. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. Trying to find some space to operate, and now they'll have it. A gain of 12, a big first down to get away from the end zone. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show off their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage. They are powering. And that's caught inside the 30. And a huge play that time. 61 yards. And even with the game seemingly in hand, they're continuing to fire away, pressing the ball down the field. Listen, it's worked all day. No reason to go away from it now. There we go. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. They'll try the right side here with Smith. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Two yards that time. A stark contrast from the big chunk on the previous play. From the 21, here's second down and eight. Now Jones. And that'll be incomplete. But their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, 
you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. From the left hash, this from 37. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Now the only silver lining on the other sideline, CD, is that they kept him out of the end zone. But still, that's another three points added on to this large lead. He had no shortage of scoring or big plays on defense in this one. And even up by four possessions, still finding ways to create opportunities and capitalize with points. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And that five-game win streak is ticking away here in the fourth quarter. Just haven't been as sharp in this one. He's going to float this one deep right side. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown. A great play there. 77 yards. And the Dragons are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Uh, he's tough to contain as it is, but in man coverage with a pretty deep pass downfield, really tough to contain. And it's so difficult because every play, you've got to consider he might try and run past you. So your goal as a defensive back is to give him plenty of cushion, meaning lots of space between you and him. If he wants to catch the short stuff, come up and secure the tackle hit him a bunch during the game and try and keep him in front. But if you turn your head for a second, if your concentration wanes, bye bye. he just takes off and goes. And I think that's what we just saw there. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at the 41 yard line. Ready, ready. Inside handoff, Smith, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Here's Smith as he'll try to run some clock. And the defense on him quickly there as they stop him at the 40 for a gain of just two. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of 11 and a first down. Here's a give to Smith. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find the hole. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave them with a third and about four more for a first. Brings up third and four. 18 Cardinal, 18 Cardinal. Throwing Jones. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And it'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. That'll put him at 77 yards receiving for the ball game. It's a first down. Ready. A first down carry for Smith, and he'll take this one down near the 15. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. 19, Tiger. 19, Tiger. On second down, here's Smith again, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now the defense is going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. 
Jones on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. So another third down conversion. And now they've got a first and goal. Oh, how about this call down near the goal line? And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Panther 11, Panther 11. Let go. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. He's going to let it fly. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the return will stop right around the 25. Intercepted. They'll take over at first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. Here we go, Jack. Go. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for Austin, they keep pace in the playoff race as they move to 8-3 and three on the year. And they'll get a few extra days to get ready for next week where they take on the New York Jets. Meanwhile, for Rio, it's a loss that sets them back in their playoff push as they fall to 6-5. and five. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.